Naked mole rats are one of nature's most curious creatures. They've got a, a massive set of gnashes, you know, um, and they're pretty formidable and they will use them. Chester introduced mole rats to their collection four years ago. Because they're such a tricky little animal, the, the things we learn from mole rats um, could be applied to other more endangered species in the future. Naked mole rats have a unique family structure. Like ants, they live in a colony where everyone has a job, such as soldier, tunneler or worker. And at the top is the queen. She's in charge. She decides where they're going to live, where they're going to forage. She's the one that has all the babies. That's, that's a very important point. She's the only one that has babies. No one else is allowed. It's, that's kind of her rule, her children. Queen Janet's reign has lasted three years. She was named after um, Janet Street Porter. I didn't name her, but um, yeah, she had that name when I got here. You know, she's had hundreds of babies in her time and has, has ruled really nicely. Until now, Queen Janet has been using intimidation to prevent the other females, her daughters, from getting pregnant. But her long reign looks to be over. A bit of a strange time at the moment in the colony. We have two pregnant females, which in itself is quite strange, and neither of them are Janet. I'm not really sure why that's happened. It's, it's, yeah, a bit of a mystery. Somehow, two new queens, sisters to each other, are emerging at the same time. Keepers call them lefty and righty. They're both very strong characters. You know, they've both got a lot of attitude, they've both got a lot of willpower. If you're the queen, you, you are number one. Um, and they won't, they both want that spot. So, you know, they've both gone off, mated with someone, got themselves pregnant, and now they're like, yeah, I'm in charge. So they're, they're trying to assert their dominance. Janet's getting more tall over. I suppose it's, it's a little bit like Game of Thrones, isn't it? But as the aspiring queens get closer to giving birth, they're about to become a lethal problem. If you just leave them to it, one of them is going to basically dispatch the other one. My biggest worry really is that they're both going to give birth and they're going to kill each other's offspring. In the mole rat colony, warring queens lefty and righty are trying to avoid each other. It's almost like we've got a split already, yeah. isn't it? You've got this female and that female at the opposite yeah. end. I've seen this little little group that are splitting away with Lefty and, and sitting in their own box away from the rest of the colony. So you're kind of getting a new, a second little colony within the main colony. For the other animals who used to follow the old queen, choosing a new leader is confusing. It's just, it's unsettling everyone. So you've, you've got everyone with a bit of a, a sort of split loyalties almost. So the colony's not sort of cohesive which means, you know, the jobs aren't getting done properly. No one's putting the food in the right place. There's more than one toilet and that sort of thing. It's, yeah, it's upsetting everyone. In the wild, if two queens emerge, the colony naturally splits. One burrows away and starts a new family. Obviously, in, in captivity, they can't just dig off. Um, there is a plastic wall in the way. As no winner has naturally emerged, Keepers plan to intervene by moving Lefty and her followers out to join another colony. We do have a, a smaller second colony, and we've been we've been monitoring those for, for weight and just behaviour. And we're going to consider moving one of our queens into that colony. We've decided that Lefty is sort of the, the more subordinate animal, so Righty overall is probably winning most of the battles. Um, so it's Lefty that's going to come out throw her in there and, and hope that she sort of goes, oh, brilliant, you know, a new colony here and takes over. She's here. And there she is. Lefty. Try that one. Keepers move Lefty's followers with her. And they are each rubbed in bedding from the second colony, so they'll all smell the same. And get them to walk round on it and just get them coated on it. <laughs> you can hear their uh, disapproval of that. 
Lefty's gang are joining two males and two females from the second colony. And the idea is that as they come across each other, it's just like, oh, yeah, you've always been here. Um, that's the plan. And we just uh, mix them together and see what happens. <laughs> so there's Lefty at the bottom. She's right at the bottom. So that she's obviously, a lot of interest is <laughs> taken with her almost immediately. Although the animals initially seem intrigued by each other, oh, hang on, this could be... relations quickly turn sour. Uh, didn't go to plan. <laughs> kind of to our surprise, um, one of those sort of nondescript females really stepped up and was having absolutely none of it. As soon as she saw Lefty, it was no way you come in here. We, we kind of assumed she wasn't particularly dominant because we'd not seen dominant behaviour in her. They just really didn't like her being in there at all and didn't hold back on letting her know. This could be quite a battle, I think. It was quite bad fighting, so they locked together. They were really game for each other. It was proper sort of guns at dawn. This doesn't look good. Potential is that they, they would just fight to the death. Now I'm just going to kill you. Don't care. So they just uh, take those three. That's, that's proper battle royale, that. Before it got too heated, we stopped the mix. Tiny cut on this one. Okay. They would have done considerable damage to each other if we hadn't have, have separated them again. So we had to go back into her original group. So yeah, so Lefty and Righty are just going to have to stay together while we think of the next plan, basically. If keepers don't come up with a new plan soon, the violence between the sisters could destroy the colony. Whoa!